Well, hi guys, welcome back again to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make one of some of my specialty I'm cooking in my kitchen. It is my version of the Chinese way how to cook shrimp fried rice. So, if you want to see how I cook shrimp fried rice in my kitchen, come on and let's roll. Well, okay guys, let's talk about the ingredients that you're going to need. First, I'm going to be using shrimp in mine. This is about a pound of shrimp, and this shrimp is already cooked. So, if you have the fresh shrimp, go ahead and use that. But only thing you have to cook it a little longer. But this one is already cooked, so I'm going to show you how I use the shrimp that's already cooked to this meal. So, you have to watch this recipe really close. I'm also going to use some white rice. If you want to use brown rice, parboiled rice, go ahead and use it. But for this dish, I'm going to go ahead and use white rice. I have mixed vegetable ears, carrot and green beans. I'm also going to add to that green pepper, red pepper, yellow peppers, and some chopped onion. Alright? I'm going to add cabbage to this. This is about a half a pound of cabbage that has been cut like this. This size. You don't want to cut it too small. Alright? So this is what I'm going to add to that dish. I'm going to be adding some crushed pepper. If you have the Jamaican pepper, you use that. But use a discretion to that. I'm going to add some garlic, sea salt. If you have regular salt, use that. Black pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, and one teaspoon of the Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. This is what the Jamaican all-purpose seasoning is. It's the Jamaican choice brand, and you could put this on any dish. I'm also going to add some thyme. So, okay, guys, I have here a pot on my fire and I have about I'll say about two ounces of oil in here all right don't make it over eat you just want to make it just right you don't want to burn up your seasoning so I'm going to give you guys a real good close-up so you can see what's going on here the first thing you're going to do you're going to go ahead and add everything in so you add your cabbage in all right you add your seasoning all of this good yummy healthy stuff you go ahead and you just put them in and you add your carrots and your green beans just put everything into the pot at the same time now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and you have to season up that veggie because the veggie can have taste and people can come back to your house and eat your food so you're going to add one teaspoon of garlic a half a teaspoon of crushed pepper if you have regular pepper go ahead be my guest at it but i'm going to add that to it i'm also going to add some thyme and of course i have to add a little bit of salt this is sea salt just put it to your taste you know and i'm also going to add two teaspoons of paprika one teaspoon of jamaican all pepper seasoning and one teaspoon of black pepper let's add everything all in Go ahead and stir this in guys. So this is your first step. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure that everything is very nicely stirred. I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to let it steam. Not for long because I don't want the cabbage to get soft and saggy. You want the cabbage to be nice and crispy. So within about 15 minutes, I'll come back and I'll add the rest of the ingredients to here. So that is what your first step should look like. Vegetables is now cooked. Been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes on very medium heat. And as you can see, the vegetables is still crispy. I don't want it soft and saggy saggy. I want it crispy. Now I'm gonna add my rice to this guys. And let me talk to you about the rice first. I have some rice here and the rice is already cooked. Do not add rice that is not cooked into this recipe. If you have leftover white rice, you could go ahead and add that. But this rice here, I just cooked this. I have a, a recipe on how to cook white rice. So you could go ahead and follow this. So let's get back to the recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice in and I'm just going to mix everything in make sure that your rice get all that good gravy on there everything is is, is covered nicely so 
so okay guys so that is what it looks like after i put my rice in okay it looks just like this so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add my shrimp to this remember i said before that the shrimp is already cooked if you have fresh shrimp you're gonna have to cook this a little longer this is already cooked so i don't have to have this on the eat too long because the longer you cook shrimp and the tougher it all gets so the shrimp is the last thing you put into the dish so you go ahead and put your shrimp in and that is a pound of cooked shrimp again my stove is on low medium heat okay so i'm just going to stir all the shrimp in and this is going to cook within five minutes and we should be finished okay so it's all done i'm going to let that cook for five minutes and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on a plate i think i might serve this up with some fried chicken if you want to eat this just like it is it's just as fine but i'm going to serve this up with some fried chicken so i will see you back in five minutes put it on a plate for you guys okay so here you have it guys i'm all done shrimp fried rice in my kitchen um give this video a thumbs up guys let me know how you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and more good dishes are coming up for you guys so as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy Good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it don't simmer, I tie it to eat. So see you back okay, in a few minutes. minutes. This is the end of your foundation for coverage. You know, like that. Yeah. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.